In response to last week's fatal shooting in Chattanooga, Tennessee, a Florida gun shop owner has declared his gun store a, quote, Muslim-free zone. 28-year-old Andy Hallinan made the declaration over the weekend in front of a Confederate flag. Now, I have a moral and legal responsibility to ensure the safety of all patriots in my community. And so effective immediately, I'm declaring Florida gun supply as a Muslim-free zone. I will not arm and train those who wish to do harm to my fellow patriots. The jihadists said they would do it, and they have. They said they live among us, and they do. We must be prepared, vigilant, and equipped to handle any situation that might come our way. The video garnered lots of attention, widespread condemnation, but also one good faith offer. Hassan Shibli, he's executive director of the Florida chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations or CARE, reached out to Hallinan and offered to teach him about the Quran. Originally, it looked like the two had made a breakthrough. Hallinan actually agreed to host the Muslim leader at his shop, even telling Reuters, Shibli is a really wonderful guy who I would consider a friend at this point, and I think he would say the same about me. A great story of an ideological odd couple uniting to try and set an example of tolerance and understanding until. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. When I was contacted by the Council for American Islamic Relations, I offered them to come meet at Florida Gun Supply. Thankfully, hundreds of emails poured in with links and information about who this organization is. And I cannot in good faith meet with them and certainly cannot train with them. And it posted this video to Facebook today explaining a conspiracy theory uh, that you'll find on the internet about care or having links to terror groups. The meeting is officially off, which is unfortunate. What is also unfortunate is that Andy Hallinan had agreed to come on this show with Hassan Shibli until Andy canceled on us late this evening. But still joining us is Hassan Shibli, executive director of the Florida chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations. Um, Hassan, what, what motivated you when you saw this video to actually reach out uh, to this guy and, and try to start a conversation? Well, the video really hurt. I mean, it hurt as an American before it hurt as a Muslim. I would be so saddened to hear about a Jewish free zone or a black free zone or a white free zone, and especially being a practicing Muslim to hear about a Muslim free zone. I don't want my children to think that there's any place that's off limits to them because of their faith. That's why we came to America, to seek religious freedom and liberty that so many people throughout the world are denied. And I want my children to grow up in, in a free and just country. And I believed Andy's uh, sentiments were very hurtful and un-American. And it was just very sad to see somebody using uh, a tragedy like what happened in Chattanooga to promote division and make a profit at the expense of dividing our nation. And, and I really believe it's that fear and hatred that often divides us and, as Americans, and dialogue is the key to overcoming that. So we hope that maybe Andy was simply misinformed and that by reaching out to him, we can build bridges of tolerance and strengthen the unity of our nation. So you, were, you guys had a conversation, and, and this strikes me as, as one of these things that happens all the time, right? People have conceptions about each other, then they talk as, as human beings, and you think, oh, wow, this is actually a person, and I kind of like him, or uh, he, he seems uh, uh, amiable enough, maybe we can get together. And then this sort of flood comes in, which also, to me, illustrates the issue, right? Which is this, this conviction held by many people that every Muslim or any group that's an Islamic group like CARE must be linked to jihadists, to, to people that are violent. Right, well, that's no different than the hatred minorities have faced uh, throughout this country's history. I mean, there were times when, you know, all Irish were seen as subversive and Catholics were seen as only loyal to the Pope and that they couldn't be trusted. This is the same hate just facing a new target. This time it happens to be the Muslim community. In fact, what scared me the most about Andy's rhetoric was it sounded no different than the Nazi propaganda against uh, the Jewish community back in Germany 70 years ago where they were promoting these conspiracy theories that Jews are a threat, that we need to have Jewish free zones, and that uh, Jews seek to take over the world in, in that horrible, horrible conspiracy theory that used to promote, which ultimately led to the Holocaust, and that the Jewish community could not be trusted, that they're all liars and they're all subversive. And it's the same kind of rhetoric uh, that Andy today is promoting. And what he did is he actually brought to light the large anti-Muslim sentiment that some in this society hold. I mean, so America's the best place Place in the world to be a Muslim, but some people are trying to change that. Unfortunately. Well, so here's my question: you, know, so you, you talk to the guy, you have a meeting. Now you just uh, sort of reference the Nazis in, in talking about his rhetoric. I mean, is it overcomeable? Right, that's the question. Like, do you continue to hold the faith that like you can sit down with folks that have uh, views of you and see you with um, your head cap and your beard and and have stereotypes about you, and that you can have a conversation with them that breaks through? 
Absolutely. I mean, I often have to remind myself, despite the odds that we face sometimes, uh, that in, in Islam's history, some of the greatest Muslims were at one point Islam's worst enemies, and it was through dialogue and interaction and community service that uh, we were able to build new friendships and new alliances. And in fact, that's the Quranic spirit. That's what the Quran actually teaches us. The Quran says that bad interaction and good interna interaction aren't equal. Respond to evil, respond to negativity, respond to malice with that which is better, and you will find your worst enemies will turn into your best friends. But the Quran says this only happens for those who are patient. So I think as a community, <laughs> we'll continue to be patient, we'll continue to be gracious, and our doors will always be open. And we still invite Andy to come and meet his Muslim neighbors. Hey, come and see what we are as his fellow Americans and fellow human beings or his doctors his lawyers his engineers or his taxi well, cab drivers. I, would, I would love if and when that summit happens I want to I want to either be there or, or, or capture it somehow Hassan, Hassan Shibli joining us tonight absolutely it's very important that the world knows that Andy doesn't speak for Floridians or Americans and we've gotten a lot of support against his hateful message thank you all right up next